Hey fragrance lovers and enthusiasts, it's Benjamin here at the Centaur Fragrance Show showcasing some more beautiful fragrances for you wonderful ladies and gents out there. Today we're going to be talking about Grasslands from the House of Banana Republic. Yes, this is a brand new release, a early release fragrance. This is probably the first time I've actually got my hands on almost a promotional early release bottle. And this is all thanks to a distributor, not Banana Republic itself, but the distributor is called So Avant Garde. I will include their website down below if you do want to get this these fragrances before they hit the discounters if you like to be the early worm and get the worm so talk, let's talk about this fragrance though again let's talk about the presentation really fast they really stepped up the game with the new icon line it's almost like a nishan a fragrance the presentation is quite solid the you do get a little bit less juice they're 2.5 ounces but let's talk about that juice let's talk about what's going on here first off it's a patchouli ambergris interesting grassy type of fragrance it, it, it has some interesting mossy qualities to it as well and it's got some a little bit of creamy sandalwood going on here so first off again it's called grasslands i actually really like the inspiration behind this fragrance let's actually spray it up let's wear it today this will be a scent of the day um, it's a it's a really light grass and to me it feels like the sprouts you know when the grass is growing when the when the seeds are coming out of the ground it's a really youthful um, dewy watery type of uh, greenness it's not exactly sharp but it does capture the feeling of grass and I think that this is a really interesting fragrance for that because there's not a lot of fragrances that do this in general especially in the designer side of things there is CH uh, men 212 uh, which it doesn't get a lot of spotlight these days which but it is one of the better aquatics out there no doubt about it but um, this fragrance though is a fragrance that can be worn by anyone it's very unisex it's very light again grass I think you know ladies might try to shy away from it but it's a little bit powdery in a way and the vanilla does sweeten things up a little bit and there's a little bit of creaminess coming from the sandalwood here so overall it's not a bad fragrance. It's actually a lot more likable than you would think. And again, it reminds me of, you know, maybe there's a desert. You know, there are some deserts out there in Africa and places out in the world. They're called the grasslands. And uh, they're supposed to be a beautiful aroma with wildflowers in the grass. When that, you know, all those seeds are waiting to sprout after a little bit of that rain comes, they all sprout. And, ever, you know, overnight, the desert with all the sand and how dry it is becomes like a beautiful grassy field. And uh, to me, it captures that emotion so it's fresh it's inviting I do think that there could have been a little bit of mint snuck in this fragrance I would have liked to see mint snuck up in here I think it deserves it and I would have liked it to be maybe a little bit more even sweeter and creamier but they intended I think to make this uh, fragrance really light and wearable I think that they listen to what people want and um, I think that the fragrance industry is actually catching up I actually mentioned for two fragrances uh, inspired by this that I would like to see the fragrance industry do and I think they were listening to me or somehow my advice got around to the fragrance you know the the people up there in the in the industry and they made metal rain as well which i'm going to show you all but grasslands a fragrance inspired by fresh cut grass and um, i'm happy for that that maybe i was a little bit of an inspiration behind the fragrance industry and also that i got this as an early release I mean, I feel very fortunate for that. So it's a very likable, wearable green fragrance. It's not your grandpa's oak moss, even though there's nothing wrong with deep green oak moss fragrances or, or polo green, for example, or anything like that. Those are all good. But this is a very wearable, wear, wearable youthful kind of green fragrance. Um, it's kind of likable and wearable, uh, kind of just like maybe a Pacific Rock Moss is by Goldfield and Banks. So that one also could be a great choice for you if you like those really light, subtle, um, modern maybe the green nuances to fragrances so a nice fragrance um, again I wish it was sweeter and creamier but they made this one very wearable for any situation 24 7 all year round uh, this one could be easily pulled off guys ladies and gents and it's a likable fragrance I do detect again with the ambergris especially coming through with this fragrance it's more of an ambroxan it's more synthetic and it, although it's not terrible if you are picky if you do like naturals in fragrances this is a Banana Republic. Um, this is a designer fragrance, and you you could be picky, and you could, of course, say it's synthetic, but is it pleasant? I think it is more on the pleasant side. Um, and, but if you do smell it up close, maybe you can pick out some of those modern aroma chemical qualities going through this fragrance. So 
getting to that performance this is a solid six hour fragrance on me if you spray a bunch of it on if you spray it on clothes um, you can get about seven or so hours it's not a strong fragrance but it's not weak either it's in that happy medium that I think a lot of people want with wearability but also being noticed and I think they struck that balance that a lot of people are looking for um, do I or perhaps a lot of us in the fragrance community want eight hour plus fragrances or even stronger sometimes but sometimes there is a place for light easy going fragrances when Whenever you want to go on a picnic, you want to go to the mall, you just want to go shopping, you just want to do your everyday activities, and you just want to smell clean and fresh in a whole different way, that's what this fragrance brings to the table, a freshness in a whole different kind of way. Um, I don't think it's terribly similar um, getting to the compliment factor uh, to Versace Eros, but perhaps this could remind people, because of the sandalwood, because of the vanilla, and because of the aroma chemical quality of coming from this fragrance, uh, perhaps it could remind some people a little bit bit of Versace Eros, but I don't think it's terribly similar to that at all, in my humble opinion. But uh, compliment factor wise, even though it's a green fragrance, it did surprisingly better than I thought it would. Yes, could it be sweeter? I think that would help a little even more, but is it inviting? Is it soft? Is it wearable? Yes. And it, it didn't get me anything crazy, but it did get liked, and it was a lot more likable than I thought it might be, because again, it's a green fragrance, and a lot of us in the fragrance community have a stigma behind uh, green fragrances and lavender and some of these notes that maybe were used in classical perfumery but they can be modern and they can be used in a modern way so this definitely did that and pulled it out here in 2020 and did a great job of it and I salute them for that. My final thoughts with the price, um, this is a still a very early pre-release and again I'm very fortunate to be able to bring it to y'all this is, I don't often get my hands on brand new releases, brand new to the market, there's actually very few stores you can find this even available at yet so this is a really early early release almost nobody has their hands on it yet and um Again, I feel fortunate for that. But if you want to get this early release, it's about 85. Yes, will, will these get cheaper? Yes. The other icon lines, the Dark Cherry and Amber and the Tobacco and Tonka have kind of, kind of gotten down to the $50 range. But have Banana Republic really stepped up their quality? Yes. Um, are they wearable? Absolutely. And uh, do, are they doing, I think, good things in the designer uh, world of things? Yes. Can you be a stickler for quality? I, I yes you could. Um, am I blown away by this fragrance exactly? Not really. But is it a wearable, easygoing, likable type of fragrance? Yes. And I think that this is going to bring Versace Eros, uh, maybe like a oh fresh version, uh, you know, to the fragrance game, and one that ladies might even be a little bit more comfortable with wearing. Um, I think that ladies, this could be a green fragrance that you could like. That you, I think there is a an O Tendre or an O O. I forget the name of it, but it's. I think it's a that has green juice that that's about the only one that has somewhat of a green vibe besides Gucci bamboo this one that you could try and you might actually find a green fragrance that you as a lady might actually like on yourself so I would definitely give this one a try very unisex again affordable approachable and I think it does that a good again I'm not trying to hype up this fragrance if you are a stickler for quality it's a banana Republic you know what it is but did they do a good job for for what they're giving you for the for the quality and for the price I think that they're really stepping up the game of course I'm a stickler for uh, you know cheapness of course I would like to th see things cheaper but I can't it, I mean they did a good job the per I think the perfumers and I think the industry is starting to actually listen to to us as fragrance reviewers and us in the fragrance community I think we're getting big enough and we're having enough getting a, enough pull and enough swing to actually influence the, the the people who are actually making these fragrances up there on the top you know and I, I don't think that they're in a glass tower and they can't hear us I think they're starting to listen because they know uh, that people are speaking and that they can listen and evaluate and, and uh, start to you know work in what we're saying into what they're making and make both of us more happy uh, so that's a beautiful thing I think and um, I'm happy that again that maybe I was I mentioned that both you know fragrances a couple of these I would like to see them made and uh, maybe I was an inspiration behind that and uh, to me again I like that I like that idea so 
Have a beautiful day, everybody. Wear what you love. Let me know in the comment sections below what you think about Banana Republic, what you think about this fragrance release. Does it sound any good to you? Does it sound bad? Do you care about this type of quality and this value? Do you think it's worth it? Let me know in the comment sections below. And please help this channel out if you like the content today and you like what you saw. Please like, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell, share the video, and even tell your friends about good old Benjamin here. It's the Centaur Fragrance Channel. I'll see you next time, everybody. Peace out. Wear what you love. Rock what you got. And I'll see you next time, everybody. Man, bye.